a presentation for Applied Science 459, Engineering Physics Project 1 by Jinwei Fu and Weiqi Tio for Project 1014, Go-Kart Instrumentation and Traction Control. This project is sponsored by Mr. Curtis Lapidat and supported by Dr. John Nakane, Dr. Chris Waltham, and Mr. Bernard Zender of the UBC Engineering Physics Project Lab. The slip ratio, lambda, of a vehicle is defined as V wheel minus V cart over the maximum of V wheel or V cart, where V wheel is used when the cart is accelerating and V cart when the cart is decelerating to ensure that the slip ratio is always a positive number. Intuitively, slip ratio can be explained by examining anti-lock braking systems. Without an ABS, under heavy braking, the wheels of a vehicle will lock, causing the wheels to skid and considerable loss of control. This condition is defined to be high slip ratio approaching 1. ABS serves to modulate the braking by interpreting driver input of full braking and modifying it so the wheels never fully lock, affording the driver a high degree of steering control. A basic way of implementing a slip controller is purely proportional control. That is, using the difference between the vehicle's current slip ratio and the optimal slip ratio as the instantaneous error, E, one can scale the correction appropriately such that a large error would cause a large correction and a small error a small one. In this way, the output throttle can be defined mathematically to be K, a proportional constant times E, the error, minus the input throttle when the actual slip ratio is higher than optimal and simply the input throttle when the slip ratio is less than optimal. The latter condition means that if the vehicle is being driven conservatively, the system should not increase throttle for safety reasons. The hardware. The chassis that was provided to us has the provision for two independent motors, one driving each of the rear wheels. Furthermore, it is possible to lock both rear wheels together using the included clutch and brake unit as needed. We are using the Arduino platform for data inputs from the sensors and determining the proper corrections to the throttle position to make. The Arduino is capable of accepting both digital and analog inputs and outputting a PWM signal to our motor controllers for optimal slip ratio or for future more sophisticated traction control methods. The Alltrax AX7234 motor controller is used to drive each motor. The 7234 is a high power motor controller capable of sustained currents of up to 125 amps and peak currents of up to 300 amps for up to 30 seconds. The board is connected to plus and minus battery, to throttle plus and minus, and also to a kill switch. The motor con controller can also be connected to PC via RS-232 serial port for monitoring and logging of supplied current, voltage, and throttle position in proprietary software. Here is the strain gauge used for measuring the wheel loads. This location was identified as the point of high strain through finite element analysis. Below it, we have placed the Wheatstone Bridge amplifier circuit to carry out all necessary scaling of the signal before it is transmitted back to the microcontroller. The circuitry is placed near the strain gauge to minimize the temperature effects on wire lengths. The Hall effect wheel tachometers were implemented to function as non-contact micro switches. The sensor itself is facing the shaft such that when the magnet sweeps past the sensor, it will transition from high to low. The traction control system. Since we only have uh, one physical Hall effect sensor mounted, which uh, we indicate as the rear left wheel, so what we want to do is to simulate a signal from a Hall effect sensor, which will serve as the reference signal. And the feedback system that we have built will make sure that the rear wheel is driven at a speed such that the slip ratio doesn't exceed the optimal slip ratio. In other words, we want to limit the excessive torque on the rear wheel. First, let's examine 
this Arduino board which uh, I will uh, denote as Arduino 2 which will provide the simulate the front wheel hall effect sensor that we do not have mounted and what it does is that for this second port we will write a digital value with, uh, that varies from low to high at a fixed interval so that it simulates the pulse pulses from uh, an actual Hall effect sensor and this will be fed to the port 2 in this Arduino board which we will denote as Arduino 1 and other than that the port 6 in this Arduino 2 will serve as will serve to simulate the pedal input from the user in this case we will always write digital high on this port so that that would simulate a fully pressed pedal all the time okay now looking at Arduino 1 the port 2 as mentioned before is from the simulated Hall effect sensor while the port 4 is from this line as you can see it traces back to the actual Hall effect sensor which we mounted on the chassis that means the Arduino 1 will get signals from both the simulated and the actual Hall effect sensors And another thing to note about is uh, the Arduino one will calculate the velocity based on the time difference between pulses and then using this these two wires which are connected to TX and RX it will pass on the calculated velocity values to the logomatic over here through a serial connection so that all the speed will can be logged for analysis at a later time and an another connection that I've not talked about is the black wire which outputs a PWM signal that to the motor controller and what it does is that it will control the throttle position in the motor controller. Okay, yeah, now that we finish talking about the electrical connections, we are going to run the test that will see if the, how well the speed ratio control is working. Uh, for this test, the uh, net power supply is used and we will output the supply of voltage of about 20 volts and a maximum current of 10 amps and uh, I'll turn on the switch now and we'll see the sample running at a constant speed which means that the uh, speed ratio control is working uh, if this is called just now we have applied a uh, full throttle all the time so if the speed ratio control is not working then the value will be will be keep accelerating uh, faster and faster speed so that is basically control the test and what we can do now is to uh, look at the data that is locked in a programmatic. The project team would like to acknowledge the assistance 
of sponsor Mr. Curtis Lapidat and project lab personnel Dr. John Nakane and Mr. Bernard Zender.